Hello, Gladys. How are you? Hello, mister. How are you? Good, thank you. I'm very good. Excellent. How are you doing in the platform? Very well. Okay. Good. I, fi I finish. Hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, mid, mid the mid uh, exam? Yes. Ah, okay, good. For one uh, begin? No. <laughs> uh, uh, you finish uh, section, the exam midterm? Yes. I uh, uh, begin for, for one. Okay. So right now you're in section four. Yes. Okay, good, good. T today we're going to do one lesson from section four. We're going to we're going to do a lesson from there. Okay. 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 Right now it's eight o'clock. Let's wait two minutes for our our classmates for them to join. Está en casa? Yes. Yes, definitely, definitely. Aquí estamos. <laughs> Aquí estamos. Pero gracias a Dios. Eh, estoy con ustedes. Me entretengo eh, respondiendo, mandándoles materiales, preparando la clase. Estoy constantemente aprendiendo yo también. English, con ustedes. ¿Sabe que el estar en estas clases me ha ayudado en el colegio? Ajá, de veras. Tengo, que, da, te, tengo que dar clases ahora sí con esta plataforma. Ah, ok. Ajá. Entonces, tú, tú sos teacher. Yes. Ah, you're a teacher, excellent. Yeah, mi, mi esposa lo está usando. Eh, yeah. Ahora vi un reportaje de unos, unos eh, científicos que están trabajando buscando una cura eh, uh -huh. sobre verdad del, del coronavirus y ellos están usando Zoom, fíjate, uh -huh. para, para comunicarse con científicos en Francia, en España y, y están usando Zoom, uh -huh. imagínate. Sí, y es? su esposa es maestra. Sí, no. también. Sí, ella ah, de también. verdad. En inglés, en la área de inglés, sí. Ella trabaja ah. también por una academia y, y ahorita está usando ella también Zoom. Ah, qué bien. So, sí. Definitivamente hay, hay varias. La tecnología nos está ayudando mucho. Ahora ella tuvo una conferencia con su familia también. Por ejemplo, tú puedes crear una cuenta de Zoom. Yo creo que sí ya tienes, ¿verdad? La, la cuenta privada es tuya. Esa cuenta es tuya, ¿verdad? Sí, 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 la, tu, la tuvimos. De hecho, uh, aquí empecé a entrar como usuario, uh -huh. pero la semana pasada tuvimos que crear nuestra propia cuenta. Ah, ok. Entonces, tú puedes usar esa para comunicarte con tus familiares también. Ah, en serio. Y, sí, sí tú, es mejor tú, que, que WhatsApp. Sí, es mejor que WhatsApp. Digamos que tú quieres tener a, a tu tía, tu hermana, y tener cuatro o cinco personas ahí, puedes, puedes en, hacer. En, en diferentes lugares. Ajá. Todos conectados ah, así como estamos nosotros acá. Ah, sí, no, no me había puesto a pensar en eso. <ríe> Sí, tú tienes un código personal, Ajá. dice personal ID o meeting ID, creo que es. Y tú he puedes usar ese mismo código. He programado reuniones. Ah, de, de la, de la, de, del colegio. Ajá, ah, este... Okay programado anticipadamente y eso uh -huh. les envío el, el código para que entren. Ok, perfecto, ahí está, ahí está, lo puedes hacer con tu familia también en tu cuenta gratis. Ok, eh, good evening Marco, Nineve, Manuel, how are you? Good evening. Hi, good evening. <laughs> Hello. Ok, ready to start? Excellent. Yeah, ready. Okay, so I have some things. Let me see. Uh, vamos a hacer uh, 
Vamos a repasar countdowns, non countdowns. Eso prepara para la lección 3.9. Vamos a practicar, eh, vamos a hacer un exercise speaking. Eh, vamos a hacer, eh, contestar cualquier pregunta del midterm, del exam. Vamos a después ir a la primera lección de la sección 4. Ok. Very good. So, let's go to, uh, let me share my computer with you. And I want to go and do a, a presentation. Okay. This section, this presentation that I have is for section 3.8, quantifiers. Okay. Repeat, say quantifiers. 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 Okay. It's like in Spanish, contar, quantifiers. The same. Quantify. Uh -huh. So, in English, remember this. Eh, no sé si se acuerdan. We have countable nouns and non-countable nouns or uncountable nouns. La misma palabra. Countable, non-countable. Okay? So, there's things that you can, you can count. For example, apples. Eh, eggs. Eh, tomatoes. Eso lo puedo contar. Can I have two apples, please? Can I have two tomatoes, please? Right? Can I have two cookies? So I can count those. But we have also non-countable nouns. Non-countables, you cannot count. Imagine if I say, uh, Give me three milk. Mm, no tiene sentido. Give me three rice. Tres arrocitos, tres granitos de arroz. No, ¿verdad? Entonces tengo que usar una unidad de peso. Give me one pound of rice. Give me uh, one kilogram of rice. Okay? Can I have one bag of salt? When you go get coffee and you go to a coffee shop, uh, they ask you, how many sugars do you want? Give me three sugars, please. Give me four sugars, please. Okay? All right, very good. So, uh, count, countable, uncountable nouns. Algunas cosas se pueden contar, otras no. Okay? Uh, let's look at some examples. Uh, Marco, lee cuatro o cinco ejemplos allí de countable nouns. Okay, what countable. Whatever you want. Whatever you okay. want. Burger, um, carrot, candies, uh, peanuts. Okay, good, good. What is your favorite food there? Uh, for me? Uh-huh. Ah. Uh, uh, let me see. Yeah, burgers, fries, uh, pancakes. Salad. Pancakes. Okay, yeah. good. What about you, Nineveh? What is your favorite food? Mm. Mm. Potatoes. Fried potatoes. <laughs> ah, good, good. French fries. Okay, good. Hey, Gladys, what is your favorite food there? What? What is your favorite food? Uh, Ayin is a countable noun. You have some good food there. What is your um, favorite food? Apple and tomato. Okay. Tomatoes. Tomato. Okay. Tomato. Okay. Good, good. Okay. Now, uncountable nouns. Uh, Nineveh, can you read maybe five count uncountable nouns there? Examples. Bread. Bread. Mm -hmm. Sugar. Mm -hmm. Soup. Honey. Uh, how many? <laughs> okay. Honey. No, que cuantos me faltaban. Ah, okay. No problem. I don't know. Perdí cuenta yo también. All right. Good. So, in these... Okay. No podemos decir, can I have three rice? Can I have three cereals? No. I have to say, can I have a box of cereal? Er, or, 
go to the supermarket and buy me one bag of sugar. Okay. Can I have um, a one pound of cheese, for example? So, entonces tengo que usar una unidad porque no se puede contar así nomás. Okay, very good. So, in video 3.8. I don't know if uh, algunos ya, ya llegaron a la cuatro. Algunos, no, no sé quién, quién vio este video. Quantifiers. So, we use, we're going to use how many and how much. Okay? Now, here, uh, we have an important word here. Let me see. Important word. Wait, wait. Okay, important word. Many. Okay. And much. Important. Okay. Many we use for nouns, countable nouns. For example, how many apples do you want? How many apples do you want? For example, much we use it with uncountable nouns. How much sugar do you want on your coffee? How much rice do you want? Okay, so remember, many or countable nouns, okay? Much for non-countable nouns. Okay, hey, Marco, can you read the examples here for count nouns, the vocabulary? Oh, count nouns. Uh, are there many restaurants? Okay, or continue. Another? Continue. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Todo el párrafo? Eh, sí, la, las respuestas de aquí. Okay. De countable. I start again. Are there many restaurants? Yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are a few. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't any. No, there are none. Okay, very good. So, the vocabulary that we have to learn, right, and is this. A lot. Repeat after me. A lot. A lot. A lot. A few. A few. Many. 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 Any. 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 Okay. None. 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 Okay. For example, you say, how many restaurants are there? There are 10 or 12. Okay. So, esta palabra, how many and how much? Se usan bastante en el inglés. Okay. For example, uh, have you ever gone and bought, buy something and you ask the person, how much is this shirt? How much is this soda? Okay. Cuando estás hablando de dinero, ¿cuánto cuesta? How much? Okay. How much? All right. So, non count nouns. Manny, are you there? Can you see us? Manuel? Ahí. Okay, Veronica. Uh, can you read the examples for non-count nouns? Can you read that, please? Okay. Uh, the question is, is there much crime? Uh, answer, yes, there is a lot. Yes, there is a little. No, there isn't much. No, there isn't any. No, there isn't none. Okay, very good. Now, Let's repeat the vocabulary. Y ya le voy a explicar la diferencia de la diferencia de yes or no. Okay. Uh, yeah. Say a lot. A lot. A lot. A little. A little. A little. Much. 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 Any. 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 None. 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 Okay. Very good. Vieron algo que estas tres se repiten? Yes. Aquí y aquí. ¿Vieron? Se repiten. So, son intercambiables. 
las puedo usar para count nouns or non count nouns. Okay, now, have you ever, um, somebody says, for example, do you want some coffee? And you say, a yes. little, please. A little. ¿Nunca han usado esa palabra? Un poquito. A little. Okay? For example, you can say, um, have you ever been to, to uh, Costa Rica, San Jose? Yes, I have. Is there a lot of traffic? A lot. A lot of traffic. Yes, there is a lot of traffic. Okay. Very good. Algunas, algunas son intercambiables. A lot. Intercambiable. La única que no es intercambiable es a little, a few. A little, a few. Las demás son intercambiables. Now, something important. When you speak negative in a, in a negative sentence, bajo a decir no, there isn't, there aren't, you're going to use a negative. Usamos many, usamos any, y usamos none. Always when I speak in negative. Okay. For example, uh, let's say uh, we go to the super, right? Ya después de todo esto, vamos a poder ir 10 al super a la misma vez. <laughs> and we're going to go, and I tell you, uh, do you want some apples? Uh, yes. Uh, a few. How many? Uh, give me 10. Ah, okay. Uh huh. Nineve, question? No? Okay. Alguien tiene pregunta? No. Yes, I have one. Sure. Okay. Veronica? Teacher, why the, the bird is positive in the, in the last question, in the last answer? He said, no, there is none. Is no, there isn't none. Um, for example, it's positive. No, but no, say no, but this, there is. Ah, aquí, yeah. right yes. here. Yes. No, there's none. Ah, okay. Te voy a explicar. Porque none, la palabra none en sí es negativa. Es ninguno. Es algo similar como en español, ninguno. Mm -hmm. Ya esa no. palabra en sí, ninguno, o aquí en inglés, none, mm -hmm. ya tiene en sí un significado negativo. There is okay. none. Okay? Did okay. you bring, for example, you go to the, to the super, right? And then you come back, and then um, your husband or your wife says, did you bring milk? No, there's none. Okay, there's no milk. There's none. Okay. okay. Very good. Thank Questions you. for this? Más que todo, vamos a usar el vocabulary. Okay? Teacher, now, teacher, teacher. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, um, how different in any and none? Um, they're similar. They're similar. Um, solamente que la forma que tú lo, di, lo, lo dices. For example, if you're going to say any, tenés que tener el negativo con el verb to be. Punto. No, there isn't any. No, there aren't any. Okay? Pero si querés usar el none, Simplemente sin, uh, sin, to, sin el verbo to be. Sí, aquí está el verbo to be, solamente que no tiene un negativo. La negación. Sí. No hay negación. Uh -huh. Okay. So, cualquiera que tú quieras usar is correct. No, okay. there isn't any. No, there isn't none. Okay? Okay. okay. All right, very good. Okay, now, something important for count nouns. For example, I want to count eggs, apple, eh, potatoes, 
how many, okay? Or maybe something like restaurants. Um, or if I want to count money, cuidado con el dinero, because it's how much, okay? All right, let's go to the next. And then ya vamos a practicar, because I want to do a speaking activity so that you can use the vocabulary. Okay, quantifiers, the vocabulary. This is what I was showing you for the vocabulary. Uh, count nouns, you can use a lot, a few, many, any, or none. Okay, for example, usemos un ejemplo, apples. There are a lot of apples. There are a few apples. There are many apples. Are there any apples? There are none. Okay. What about here? Non-count nouns for, digamos, algo que no se puede contar. Sugar. Okay. I need a lot of sugar. I want a lot of sugar on my coffee. I want a little sugar. How much sugar do you want? Is there, or oh, when you go to the supermarket and you ask the person that works there, is there any sugar here? Do you have any sugar? Ah, okay. All right, very good. Questions? Simplemente para practicar lo que pueden hacer es tomar un count now y repetirlo con estas. Hacer oraciones con esta y tomar un non-count non y hacer oraciones con esta. Okay, very good. Let's go to the next exercise. I have a practice that we're going to do and then we're going. Examples, count nouns. Es lo que estaba haciendo. Are there a lot of restaurants? And then, practiquen y hagan oraciones con el mismo count noun. For example, apples or restaurants. Okay? All right, very good. What about uh, at the end of the video? Dice algo bien importante, dice non-count nouns. Remember, non-count nouns um, will be used for singular affirmative sentences and questions. For example, is there any milk in the stores? Mm. Wait. Wait, let me. Quiero dibujar. Okay. Is there any milk? in the store? Do you have any rice in the closet? Do you want some, oop, aquí, sugar. Me cometí un error, pero tenía que ser sugar. <laughs> Do you, you have to put some butter. Butter no se puede contar, ¿verdad? So I use some. Do you see? Aquí hay dos ejemplos con some y hay dos ejemplos con any. Do you see? Okay. okay. Very good. So remember, any and some are for non-count nouns. Cosas que no se pueden contar. Any and some are for non-count nouns. Okay? Yes. Any and some. Okay, son para cosas que no se pueden contar. All right, very good. Let's go to the practice now. What I want you to do is, I, le voy a dar este enlace. I want you to go to this exercise here. Let me show it to you. Um, you're going to work with the, maybe with another person, depending on the person that I'm You're gonna to go to this exercise here and you have uh, an option. So there are 10 questions and you have to use how many, how much? So you have a choice. How many, how much? For example, fíjense en el noun. Muy importante que se fijen en el noun. For example, here, stars. Can you count stars? Is it count countable or non-countable? ¿Cuál es? Stars, estrellas. Non-countable. Uh, non-countable or countable? ¿Se pueden contar? No. No. <laughs> no, bueno, no. Con el ojo de nosotros no, ¿verdad? <laughs> Pero puedo decir... A, Tres estrellas, cuatro estrellas, cinco estrellas. Entonces, sí, ¿verdad? How many or how much? 
How many? How many? How many? How many stars are there in the sky? I don't know. Millions, right? Millions and millions. Okay. Number two, etc. Siempre van a tener la opción de how many, how much. How Who much people? Mm -hmm. How, how many? Ma mm, can you count people? Yes. Uh, one person, two persons, three persons. Solo que cuando es más de uno, decimos people. Yes. Okay. For example, in the stadium, there are 20,000 people in the stadium. ¿Se pueden contar? Sí. So, okay. How many people? Yes. So, I want you to complete this exercise with another person. Se lo voy a pasar ahorita en WhatsApp, okay? Give me a second. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put you in groups. You can go to the groups. And uh, I'm going to put it in WhatsApp. And aquí en Zoom también. Okay, we have one, two, three, four. Let's see. Five people. Okay. Go to the group and go to the link. Y pueden trabajar juntos. Uh, Gladys, do you have a question? No? Hello, Veronica, did you? Ahí está. How many people live in, on island? How much? Many. Number three. Vamos haciendo uno cada uno. Gladys. Okay. You turn. Three or many beers are here. ¿Cómo, cómo, ¿Cómo era? ¿Quién tiene la televisión encendida? Es que se oye mucha interferencia. Sí, si pueden bajarle un poquito. Ahí está. Ok. Number three. Birds. ¿A quién le tocaba? Gladys. Gladys. Sí, pero mi tele está bien fuerte. How many? Uh, how, how many? many birds? Sí. Okay. Correct. Number four. Uh, how much water in the ocean is in the ocean? Mm -hmm. ¿Se puede contar agua? No, ¿verdad? No, se, water is something that you can't count. Uh, 
Now, if you say a bottle of water or a liter of water, a gallon of water, are you saying? Number five, how Veronica. much? Veronica. Number five, how much? How much money is in bank? Mm -hmm. Remember, for money, we use how much? 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 Finish? <laughs> yes. yes. Wow. Fast. <laughs> Fast. Okay, very good. Now, the other group is, is like in number five, ahorita. So, I'm going, to, I'm going to explain to you the speaking activity that we're going to do. Okay? Okay. Eh, y nos, que, nos vamos a quedar en los mismos grupos. Es un grupo pequeño ahorita, All right? Very good. This is the speaking activity. Um, if you go back to the vocabulary, remember the presentation that I gave you. Habían varias palabras, por ejemplo, a little, a few, uh -huh. many, some, etc. So, esas palabras, ese vocabulario, quiero que lo usen. All right? How? Speaking activity. You have to uh, find a place where you have been, Nineve, but Manny uh -huh. has never been there. And Manny, you have to find a place where Nineve, where you have been and Nineve has never been. Um, how are you going to find out? You got you have to ask a question. You have to ask a question. So for example, uh, let's say uh, Nineve, have you been to Guatemala? Okay. And Annie, have, have you been to Guatemala? Yes, I've been. Okay, very good. So, ahí está un lugar donde tú has ido, Manny, y Nineve, tú no te acuerdas. So, es como si no, nunca has ido. Very good. So, for that place, now, eh, Nineve, tú, tú quieres preguntarle a él, eh, how, are there any restaurants? Are there any good hotels are there mm. many ah is there a lot of traffic ah okay very good so all those questions you're going to use a lot many etc remember uh, i'm going to put the picture de ese vocabulario quiero que usen I'm going to put it in uh, here in, in WhatsApp so that you can have it and you can look at it there. Okay, so the, the idea is that using ese vocabulario, is there a lot? And then, for example, if Nineve asks you, Manny, about Guatemala, is there a lot of traffic? Si, si ese es el caso, hay mucho tráfico de Manny, you're going to say, yes, there's a lot of traffic. There is a lot. Wow. Okay. Uh, practice speaking. You don't have to write. You just do the speaking. Okay. <laughs> okay. Aquí ahora es de producirlo, right? Ya lo practicaron. <laughs> okay. All right. Very good. Let's go. Let's do this for maybe ten minutes. Okay. Okay. Finish. Okay, excellent. Eh, um, le voy a explicar el ejercicio que vamos a hacer. A speaking exercise. Okay, that we're going to do. Now, uh, you have to find a place where you have been, but the other person has not been there. Okay. For example, let me see, uh, Marco. Have you been to to Costa Rica? Uh, no, I never. I, okay. I Veronica, don't. have you been to Costa Rica? No. Okay. No, neither do I. What about Honduras? No. 
One, no? but no, 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 I forget that, no. What about Guatemala? Yes. Okay. Marco, have you been to Guatemala? Yes. Okay. A couple so, years ago. Nicaragua, okay. Nicaragua, I don't know Nicaragua. Ah, vaya. Okay, Marco, have you been to Nicaragua? No, I'm never yet. Okay, very good. So, ahí tienen un, un país donde Verónica ha ido y otra persona no ha ido. So, Marco, if you want to find out more information about Nicaragua, you have to ask Verónica. Okay? What can you ask her? Vamos a usar el vocabulary. A lot, a few, many, much. Okay? I, I put the vocabulary there in WhatsApp. Hay una foto que acabo de poner. So, if you want to remember the vocabulary. Now, Marco, you want to find out about Nicaragua, and you can ask her, uh, Veronica, are there any good restaurants in Nicaragua? Are any good restaurants in Nicaragua, Veronica? Yes, there are a few re restaurants. Very good. Ahí están. So, están usando el vocabulary. Uh, for example, what about traffic? Um, is there a lot of traffic in Managua? In Managua, yes, there is. Uh, oh. uh -huh, yes, there is a lot. Okay. Oh, there, there is a lot of traffic. Mm -hmm. There is a lot. Okay, it's uncountable. Okay, and okay, correct. So I want you to use the vocabulary, right? Gladys, okay. uh, se puede incorporar ahí. I understand that your family is watching the news, you say. But um, eh, try to find a place para que sea más interesante la conversación. Encuentre en un lugar donde usted ha ido, pero la otra persona no. Okay? So that you can ask questions. Wow. All right? Very yeah. good. El Salvador, I don't know. Eh, El Salvador can be... El la parque, soja, I don't know. Maybe parque <laughs> Monte Cristo. Eh, uh, yeah, something like that. Something beautiful like that. Or maybe... Um, uh, uh -huh, you know, places like that. So find out a place donde usted ha ido, pero su, su, su compañero no ha ido. Y el que no ha ido allí va a preguntar. All right, very good. Uh, let's try this exercise. Let's do the speaking exercise here for a few minutes, okay? Go. Okay. Okay, go. <laughs> Tres veces o cuatro veces peor que aquí. ¿Qué? O sea, qué sí. bien que estamos, nos quejamos. <risa> sí, nosotros nos quejamos, pero hay otros lugares. Vaya, la última vez que me tocó que ir, me tocó que ir en el por, día Pulmantur, porque teníamos espacio, porque era visita técnica de, de la empresa. Ajá. Clientes. Entonces teníamos chance de ir, irnos un día y regresar dos días después. Ok. No, hombre, sí. Llegamos. Un. Quiero ver, era jueves, en la noche. E hicimos fila solo para llegar hasta el hotel. Son ah. alrededor de. Miren, no le miento, son como entre, entre 10 y 13 kilómetros. De la fila que se hace para llegar, para bajarse. Okay. Yes, yeah. <laughs> complicado. Okay, Manny, so everything you say now translate in English. Okay. <laughs> All right. Very good. Let, let's try, uh, let me see. Let's, let, let's do an exercise. Uh, for example, Manny, have you been to, um, let's see, have you been to Fureza here in the uh, Salvador? No, I. No? No. ¿Sabes sabe qué es Fureza? Es como un, sí. eh, un zoológico. Prácticamente sí. tienen animales y todo. Ok, sí. very good. So, I have been there, right? I went there one time. And okay. you haven't. So, you're going to ask me questions, Manny. Ok. How many... Uh, how many... ¿Cómo se dice animales? Animals. No, pues sí, pero animales salvajes. Uh -huh. Wild, wild animals. How many wild, wild animals are there? 
Ooh, a lot, a lot. There is, there is a, a lot of wild animals. For example, tiger, jaguar, lion. Uh, there's uh, what else? White tiger. There's one white tiger. I saw him. Um, there's uh, monkeys. A lot of animals. How many security personnel? Mm, I don't know, but they have uh, they have a lot of security in the front entrance, and there's a lot of security inside the the park. Now, me puedes preguntar también con usando el verb to be. For example, are there any? Are there a few? How many? Distancia, ¿cuánta distancia hay de aquí hasta pureza? ¿Cómo se puede decir todo eso? Ah, entonces, uh, mm, ahí sería también, eh, how, how, how long, how far, no, ¿qué tan how lejos far. sería? So, how far is it from El Sal San Salvador to pureza? Uh -huh. uh, how long, how far? How far? Is San Salvador to Maybe one hour or maybe one or two hours from uh, Calle Huizucar and maybe one hour. Okay. What about are there? Usa también el verb to be are there. Are there a are lot? There, are there many? Are there a many Wakayamas? Uh, no, there aren't none. Mm, see, ahí estamos usando. Okay, very good. Locate another place. Look for another place. Encuentren otro lugar. Aquí en El Salvador, maybe, or... Okay? Between you and okay. Nineveh. Okay, go. Five more minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> okay. uh, there is a mountain because of this. It's non co. ¿Cómo se dice cabaña? Uh, cabin. Cottage. Ah, cabin. Uh, cabin. 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 Mm -hmm. cabin. It's not cabin. Non cabin there. Non cabin. Okay. Mm. Are there many people? Uh, it depends. Um, it's a few people for excursions. Excursions se dice excursiones, sí. Sí, también, o se pueden decir también eh, tours. Ah, tours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Have you ever been to Fureza here in El Salvador? Yes. No. Okay. Marco se ha ido. Verónica, ¿tú has ido? Pureza. ¿No? Gladys. Ok. Es, es eh, un refugio de, de animales. Gladys, ¿tú has ido? Pureza. No. Ok. So, um, Verónica y Gladys me van a hacer preguntas. O oh, bueno, le van a hacer preguntas a Marcos. Hey, y no, otro. Ya me hicieron muchas. <ríe> ok. A mí. Acerca de pureza. Ah, es broma. Okay, very good. Okay. Go. Okay, are there many tigers? Yes, there are many tigers. There's a white tiger. And mm -hmm. there are baby tigers. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> yes, yes. I have one question. Uh -huh. uh, do you know how, how much kind of animals are there? Okay, how, ma how many kind? No. Podemos decir how much kind? Um, how many types? Ahí podemos decir how ah. many types, tipos. So how many, how many type? types of animals? Mm, they have, for example, a lot of uh, animals: uh, tigers, lions, jaguars, monkeys. Uh, I think they have uh, a lot of birds. Uh, 
a lot of, I think they have snakes. Ah, yes, snakes, I think, snakes. Hay culebras. Okay, very good. Uh, for example, ¿Quién ha ido a Guatemala? I think somebody. Uh, Verónica, nunca has ido al zoológico. Aurora. Aurora. Ese es. Have you been there? Yes? Yes. Ah, okay. They have a lot of snakes. They have uh, snakes from all of Central and South America. Beautiful snake. Okay. Yes, it's true. Yes. Okay, very good. And they have a lot of animals. A lot of animals. Okay, very good. Now, we're going to go back. Y espero que hayan practicado con este, con este vocabulario, okay? Yeah. Remember, yeah. if you're talking about count nouns, how many? Eh, cosas que no se pueden contar, incluyendo el, el dinero, irónicamente. <laughs> how much? How much? Okay, very good. So let's go back to the group. And then we're gonna go to the next activity. Okay. We are in the group again. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna come back. Yeah. <laughs> ya va a aparecer Manny you know. <laughs> in Nineveh. Ya van a aparecer. <laughs> All right, very good. So the next um, activity that I have is um, a knowledge check 3.9. Eh, no sé si ya hicieron 3.9. Yes. Ya hicieron. Eh, Gladys, ya terminaste la 3.9. Yes. Okay, very good, very good. So, um, si no la han hecho, la pueden practicar después de, de la práctica que acabamos de hacer, se les va a hacer mucho más fácil. Let's go to section four now. I want to go to section four. So, let me share my computer with you. Uh, <laughs> I want to go to section four. Okay. Eh, deberíamos de ya estar en section four. Eh, we have only two more weeks, right? Two weeks. And then uh, vamos a seguir esperando, ¿verdad? Que pase todo, todo esto. So um, I have here a video. I want to share this video with you. And we're going to talk about uh, adjectives for description. Prácticamente, cómo describir a las personas, right? Um, so, we're, let's, let's look at this video. And let's, let's pay attention to the vocabulary. Tenemos hair, age, height. And, and looks, the way someone looks, okay? All right. Hi, welcome to section nine. In this section, you will learn vocabulary to describe people. Look at the following pictures and repeat the adjectives of appearance after me. Hair, long brown hair, short blonde hair, straight black hair, curly red hair, bald, a mustache and a beard, age, young, middle-aged, elderly, looks, Handsome, good looking, pretty. Height, short, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, very tall. Okay, very good. Let's do a, a mm -hmm. exercise. Looks. For speaking, okay? Let's describe ourselves. Uh, I'm going to go first, and then we're, we're all going to describe. So, el, en lo que estoy describiéndome, empiecen a ver ustedes cuál van a usar para ustedes. <clears throat> okay. Uh, hair. I have a straight black hair. ¿Verdad? I have straight black hair. I am young. 
uh, I am handsome, and I am medium height. <laughs> All right. Very good. Uh, Marco, you, your turn. Oops, pardon. Your turn. Tengo abierto. Sí, está abierto el canal. Uh, well, in my case, I uh, um, I'm a tall. I'm a middle age. Um, uh, I handsome. Nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I'm very. I don't know. Um, medium? No. Medium built. Medium. Uh, middle age. Mm, uh, no, no and height. Hey, height. Middle height. Uh, middle medium height. Height. Uh -huh. Alguien. Hey, that's yeah. it. Yeah, medium. Okay, very good. Veronica. Okay, uh, my hair. I have a long brown hair. Okay. Uh, no, it's not true. <laughs> it's curly. It's curly very. brown hair. Very good. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I am young yet. Okay. And um, I look pretty and mm -hmm. I have medium high. Okay, perfect. Very good. Gladys, are you there? Or, uh, okay. I have, I have gray high. Mm -hmm. I am middle age. Okay. I am very and five years short. Okay. Say pronounce middle age. Middle age. Yes, correct. Middle age. Okay. Age. Perfect. Nineve, your turn. Okay. I am middle age. I have short curly brown hair okay. hair or hair hair, hair. Um, hair. I, I am far, fairly short um, I think I look pretty <laughs> okay good job excellent good job Manny are you there yes I do I uh, I have my hair is a curly black hair uh -huh. I am um, Middle edge. Okay. <laughs> I think I handsome. Okay. In, uh, and I medium height. Okay. Very good. All right. Remember to say the verb to be. I am. I am handsome. I am young. No se no se lo olviden. Am. I am. Okay. Very good. Now I have here uh, a picture of a per, oh no, it's not this one. Let me see, let me see. Let me see. Uh, and I, I had a, I think it's this one, a good exercise. Okay, very good, very good. Here, uh, let's see. I have five different people here, okay? So, uh, Marco, you're going to describe picture number one. Veronica, picture number two. Uh, Gladys, picture number three. Nineve, picture number four. And Manny, picture number five. No, no me brinca nadie, no. All right, very good. Uh, what do you think, Marco, about uh, uh, picture number one? Okay, uh, the girl is uh, red, light hair. Uh -huh. she, she has. Ella she, tiene. she has. She has red, has. red light. Has yes. red light hair. Uh -huh. um, his eyes. She. No, her eyes. Her eyes. Mm -hmm. Her. Yes. Her eyes. It's the blue color or green color i don't know okay uh, and she's skin is white and maybe she's uh kind of tall okay kind very of tall. good very good okay okay 
Eh, Verónica. Wait, eh, turn on your microphone. Microphone. Okay. The second picture is a man. Uh, he's white. Uh, the skin white and mm -hmm. uh, brown. He has brown hair. Yes. A short brown hair. Mm -hmm. I think he has me medium height. Mm -hmm. uh, and he's a young man. Yes. Good. Use glass. Excellent. Good job. Uh, who was next? Nine, right? Oh, Gladys. 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 Okay, Gladys. Yeah. Okay. She is pretty, pretty woman. Yeah. She has few. She has beautiful short brown hair. Mm -hmm. uh, and she has great smile. Okay. Good. Good job. Next. Where is he? Yo. It's a. Uh, a child is a little girl. She has blonde, uh, short hair. Mm -hmm. uh, her skin is uh, white. Mm -hmm. uh, she looks pretty and okay. happy. <laughs> Good. She looks young, right? Jo uh, young. <laughs> okay. Good job. Uh, Manny. Yes. He is a man, uh, elderly age, mm -hmm. and he has a mustache and beard. 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 A beard. A beard. Beard. Ya le voy a explicar la pronunciación de beard. Beard and bear. <laughs> All right, I'll explain. I'll explain, but continue, Manny, okay, continue. Okay, okay. And... Oh, yeah. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Good job, Manny. Good job. Okay. Let me see. Eh, necesito un lugar donde escribir. Okay. okay, okay. Here. Uh, only this is only for us pronunciation. Now, beer. Repeat beer. 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 Yeah. This is like a. Uh, uh, for example. Uh, Business, golden, <laughs> beer, right? <laughs> beer. Now, there's another one here, another word that is very similar is barba, como lo, los hombres, tenemos barba. La única diferencia es que hay como una D al final. Beard, beard, da, 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 beard, okay? And then we have another word, bear, right? Like a grizzly bear, also, right? So let's repeat, beer, beer, beard, beer, bear, bear. Yeah, very good, excellent, good job. Okay, let me see. Two minutes. So I'm going to put, uh, let's see, describe. Ah. Attractive. A beautiful person. Aquí te, le voy a mandar esta, esta página para que puedan ver eh, more adjectives, right? To describe a person. Okay? Gorgeous, handsome. So let me see. Let me put a, let me put a famous person here. What do you think about him? Huh? How would you handsome. describe <laughs> handsome, right? Okay. Gorgeous. <laughs> How would you describe? Ah. Yeah, he's handsome. Okay, all right. Very good. Very good. Uh what about this uh this let me see. Ah, oh, no, 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 it's not her. Well, yeah. How would, what do you think? How would, how would you describe her? Uh, she's pretty. Yes. Okay. I like, uh, uh, do you like Marvels? Uh, yes. Avengers? Yes. 
Me too. I like it. So, I'm based on the cast. All the people, the famous actors. Yeah? Have you seen him? Yeah. Yes. Ah, okay. Very good. For homework, I want you to look at them and I want you to describe them. Okay? Okay. A short brown hair, tall, a red hair, curly hair, handsome, young, beautiful, etc. Okay? Very good. Okay. Questions? No. All right. No. So, tra trabajen los calificativos. Tomorrow, I'm going to do uh -huh, a... Teacher, where... ¿A dónde vamos a escribir eso? ¿O dónde se lo no, just homework. Just for you. Okay. For you to, to practice the, the, the adjectives. Los adjectives que vimos en la, en la plataforma. Eh, and then, las páginas que, que estábamos viendo anteriormente, se lo voy a mandar. I think it's this one, right? With the, with the more calificativos, more adjectives. Okay? And then, uh, what also, what we're going to do tomorrow is uh, poniendo esos calificativos en orden. Se llama order of adjectives. Okay? For example, I am, a, I am, I have tall, no, I have short brown hair. Short brown, son calificativos, pero tienen que ir en una orden específica. All right, so we're going to do that tomorrow. All right, okay. very good. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow then, okay? Okay, good evening, everybody. Yes, good evening. Good night, everyone. Okay, bye-bye.